I is Gwyneth here on a fabulous Feel Good Friday, helping you to feel good about being you so that you really know who you are, so that you can market yourself with confidence for a job interview, so that you can have sales conversations if you're in business, more important than ever before now, to be able to feel good about actually selling instead of feeling bad because other people are suffering. I've seen a lot of that around just recently. Anyway, this week I want to talk about connection. Because some in some countries, the lockdown is beginning to be relaxed. Although in Germany, unfortunately, they, they relaxed the restrictions and they saw an increase in, in um, confirmation of number of cases again uh, for the virus. So they're looking again at what, what they're going to do about that. But a lot of people talk about connection that, you know, they're getting desperate. They're feeling lonely at home. They're feeling as if they miss their friends, other members of their family, loved ones. My other half is at the other end of the country, haven't seen him for two months. And that's tough. We can't see each other because there's a bit of Germany in between and we can't travel. I know that will change. But connection is very, very important, even more important to your physical and mental health than, um, than actually what you're eating. Um, a lack of connection can be more detrimental to your health than even smoking or um, obesity or or drug taking or any of the other external factors we talk about that we actually have more influence over a lack of social connection can damage you physically and mentally much more than those external influences but the thing about connection is that as with so many other things that i talk about it starts with you. It's an emotion. It's how you feel about your community. It's about how you feel about your friends, your family, your work colleagues. And so even though you might be saying, I'm missing these people, I'm really looking forward to seeing these people again, understand that the connection exists already inside of you and you need to allow yourself to feel connected without the physical connection, maybe. On the flip side of that, when you do go back to work, be aware that the emotions of others will have changed whilst they've been in lockdown. Mm -hmm. And whilst a lot of people, you know, that there may be a, a desire to go and hug your colleagues or friends or people you haven't seen for a long, long time, you probably shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> Social distancing is still in place but that you can't only depend on the physical for that sense of connection. It's complicated stuff, this emotional intelligence. This is why I said right at the beginning of the lockdown in, in many places, this is why I did the webinar, you know, to stay connected through Zoom, through Facebook, talking to, not just talking to people on the phone, but having conversations on video as well so that you can see people's faces. The connection starts inside of you, but that connection is absolutely critical to your well-being. So if you have been feeling a little bit like you're closing down, that you felt isolated, that you felt lonely, then this is probably the time to do something about it. And if you're not going back to work, get your phone out, organise a video chat with somebody, because the connection keep caught saying that word it comes from inside you it's about how you feel about your relationships with other people and on that note i wish you a fabulous feel good friday stay safe stay healthy if you're still in lockdown please stay at home it's not just about your health it's about the other's health as well i send you loads and loads of love until next time bye for now <laughs>